The Debt to Pleasure by John Lanchester. I read this book when it first came out, and uh, I really loved it. But I lost it somewhere along the way. And, I don't know, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, I decided I really wanted to have that book on my shelf so I could flip through it. It's, it's a novel. It's a, it's a story that goes from the beginning to end. But it's so witty and charming and also disturbing that you can actually dip into it and just get bits and pieces. I, I find that I can anyway. Let's have a look at the spine of the dust jacket. Take a look at the book itself. It's not, this edition isn't particularly special as far as the binding goes. It's a story about a man who is, he's told in the first person, very, very literate, very educated, erudite guy um, who loves, loves food, loves cooking and, and different sorts of food. As you can see, look, it's called, it starts with a winter menu. And, uh, and throughout, he's talking about different sorts of foods and what they mean to him. And look, he even gives really what amounts to a recipe. He tells you how to make the thing. <laughs> but in the meantime, he is, he's, well, a sociopath, I guess is the best word for it. He's a sociopath. And he goes off on his sociopath ways, but in the meantime, talks about the food, and he's so witty. He's very, very witty. It, I, I can't help but think about uh, Humbert Humbert from Lolita with the sort of witty, charming way about him while being just cold-blooded uh, after, after his own desires and his own wants and not really worrying too much about anyone else. Um, this is an easier read than Lolita. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, well, I'm not sure that's true either. Um, anyway, it's, it's uh, not too long. It's not that long. It's very, very charming and witty and funny and literary. Uh, so if you're into charming, funny, literary books that also sort of dip into antisocial sort of hideous behavior, um, then you're going to like this probably. Yeah. Uh, so that's The Debt to Pleasure by John Lanchester. I really don't want to give too much away about what the story is about. And I've, I've given all the adjectives that I think fit. And uh, I, I, well, I obviously recommend it because I bought it again, even having read it once.